In a Bitcoin year, time passes quickly as we recognize that each passing day brings us closer to the golden era and the subsequent bull run. I just wanted to let you know that I had a wedding rehearsal today due to my busy schedule. I had to attend the rehearsal last night for a wedding that I wasn't even invited to, so please don't ask today, I believe the wedding is today. I have a lot of work to do in the morning, so I'm getting picked up at approximately 3.45. My dog woke me up at 3 a.m. and decided he was thirsty, so he started crying and painting. I spent the rest of the night on the couch, finishing up my tasks. My fiancé and I had to leave at 6.30 to take her to her parents' house for hair and cosmetics. Insanity, they'll all be extremely worn out and fatigued. I hope those mimosas are flowing. I've got you covered here. We're conversing. We will hear more about XRP ETFs. We will delve into the latest research conducted by the city on central bank digital currencies and cryptocurrencies as presented by Brad Jinghouse. After that, we will examine Bitcoin, its current state, and its future direction. People are becoming increasingly alarmed. Social media users are beginning to promote the myth that the Bitcoin bull run didn't happen for altcoins. They then say things like, buy my mean coin, don't think so, folks, I got you covered. Without further ado, take a seat back and unwind. Let's begin with a balance of $69,700 in Bitcoin. That has now decreased by 48% over the last day. Ethereum will arrive at 2555. At the moment, both USDT and USDC are down 48%. Arriving at their XRP dollar pegs, I know it means lean 51 cents. Come on, XRP, the price is the same as 7 years ago. You are fully capable of achieving this. Where will we take the $2 trillion cryptocurrency market cap? Our first stop shop for Bitcoin needs is right here. To return to the 72nd stop, Bitcoin must reach its highest point ever, which is now over $73.74. I am telling you 74 k because of this. Could that magical number trigger the start of the races? We're so near, so close, that this could happen any day now, especially in the run-up to the U.S. presidential election. Whoever wins that election could be the catalyst we've been waiting for. It will arrive. We still expect Bitcoin to reach $100,000 in 2024. As a reliable cryptocurrency, we are now evaluating the 65 to 69,000 must-hold zones. Losing this area validates the deviation, but maintaining it allows for a swing at the most recent, unexplored highs. It's so easy, people. 74,000 that is the goal, that's the target. We are striving to surpass that goal, and we will achieve it. We are waiting to hear whether it will happen this week or in two to three weeks, but you never know. When you least expect it, these bull runs appear out of nowhere, and we wake up. You can see these enormous green candles rising. Since they are all partnered with Bitcoin, the remaining adults are in the green before the races, and the fun begins. Bitcoin magazine BlackRock this week, BlackRock made a significant purchase of 2.4 billion bitcoins for its ETF, indicating a positive outlook. Last night, during the wedding rehearsal, I made a prediction, BlackRock will be the first to receive approval for an ETF, despite being the last to file an XRP ETF. Two predictions came to me. Right now, XRP and Solana are competing for the second and third places in 2025, while BlackRock is the last to file. Ethereum drops out of the top two. However, it is the first ETF to receive approval as an XRP ETF. My performance history has been fantastic. Let's see if I can carry on, shall we? The title of a new city document is The Evolution of Digital Money. They released this document seven hours ago, delving into the topic of digital ledger technology. Central banks issue digital currencies through ISO 2022. The recent posting demonstrates their sincerity. This article primarily focuses on cryptos, their workings, the blockchain, the underlying technology, and their significant differences from conventional financial services, as evident from the cover. 
Discussion of Central Bank ISO 222 discusses digital currencies and blockchain technology. The conclusion is to switch to blockchains. A variety of industry specialists are investigating numerous possible directions as the development of money reaches a turning point. New technologies are creating new opportunities for the structure and operations of money, but technology-neutral regulation is still essential for all types of money. Collaborations between the public and commercial sectors are essential for progress. Where have we previously heard that in public? Interoperability and standardization are crucial values in the private sector. Your central bank will play a crucial role in facilitating a smooth transition into the digital economy across commercial platforms and countries. Digital currencies will play a significant role, and AL's statement is highly accurate. It is stated that when the SEC sued rippled in 2020, exchanges delisted XRP. For some strange reason, we're not even talking about exchanges in the U.S. Instead, we're talking about exchanges worldwide over which the SEC has no jurisdiction whatsoever. What are we seeing now? You might be wondering why the SEC created XRP ETFs shortly after Chang's legal victories. Are these ETFs now being filed? It's quite easy if the litigation is still pending. There is no security in XRP. We have classified it as non-security, allowing us to add these ETFs to XRP. However, you may be wondering, but the lawsuits are still going on. The litigation is currently focused on two main issues. In addition to seeking more money, the SEC is acting avariciously and intends to take action against Ripple's programmatic sales. To be honest, if Ripple is prohibited from selling XRP in a secondary market, it will only benefit us. Keep in mind that I hears the prediction, Black. Put that out. Rock will be the first to use the FXRP ETF, despite being the last to receive approval. Keep in mind that this is the third XRP ETF that we have seen emerge. Grayscale also placed their trust in us, but it's common knowledge that Grayscale will also be included in this ETF. That will therefore be number four. The XRP ETF released 21 share files less than 24 hours ago. Do you want to talk about a bull market or a bull run? What are your thoughts? Particularly when all of the institutional money enters the market, the ETFs will act as catalysts and ignite the bull market. I'll tell you a little secret. Institutional money is necessary if you want to see 7 to $10 trillion in cryptocurrency. Institutions must intervene and allocate their capital, as retail investors lack the necessary 7 to $10 trillion to invest in cryptocurrency markets. We also need to witness a shift from traditional markets to cryptocurrency markets, particularly as XRP continues to decline. Tick institutional interest in TOC and XRP products is higher than ever, as are all the various ETFs. 21 bitwise shares after canarying your three ETFs, we have Grayscale. Now that you have XRP Trust, keep in mind that obtaining an ETF is a prerequisite. It will be evident if you establish trust. If there is sufficient demand from the institutional side, the trust will become an ETF. These are just the first four individuals, there will be many more. Additionally, we will have more than a dozen participants. Remember, once the first XRP ETF receives approval, the others will swiftly follow suit. Since we already have the wording, these other companies will copy the SEC filed documents for the ETF and modify a few words to meet their own standards. The remaining companies will then receive approval for the matter. The message from Brad Gollinghouse, the market makes it abundantly evident that institutional demand for XRP products is higher than it has ever been. 21 shares of Canary to convert its multi-asset fund, which included XRP, into an ETF, GCAL established a trust and registered it. Recall that we previously discussed the pales a grayscale bucket will be present. Their multi-assets will be that. You can visit Grail's website to view all of the trusts they have open. All of the trusts will eventually merge into a single, massive ETF, which we'll refer to as the pool of ETFs. 
individuals will be able to purchase a small portion of each ETF as a single entity, and all trust members will eventually become ETF solos. ETFs will be able to stand alone all at once. The market is becoming more dynamic. I am eagerly awaiting 2025. People, I can assure you that a significant change will occur in our lives soon. Forget the unfavorable story about XRP that you see on social media, the company will not miss the bull run. The company will not overlook the bull run.